Hey friends, happy holidays. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mansa Queen and in today's video, this is a highly, highly requested recipe. I will be sharing with you how to make a simple rum cake and we're going to be adding today a caramel rum and a very nice buttery glaze. Guys, this is so satisfying. I bet you it is so delicious as well. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. Welcome back friends. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the dry ingredients. So in a bowl, I am going to be using a Duncan Hines classic yellow box cake mix. Now you can go ahead and make this from scratch, but I'm just keeping it really simple today. And I bet you it's gonna be so delicious. And to that, I'm gonna be adding one 3.4 ounce pack of instant vanilla pudding mix. This, you guys know, I gotta have my pudding mix in my box cake mixes. They go well together. And this is optional. I would be adding one fourth of a teaspoon of ground allspice. This right here, mm, 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 it's gonna give you that kick that you're looking for. It's very subtle because I'm not using a whole lot. Just one fourth of a teaspoon is enough so just stir all the dry ingredients together that is all we're doing today and we're going to put that aside and move on to our wet ingredients if this is your first time here i want to say a warm welcome to you guys sit back relax and enjoy with the mansa team all right so in a big bowl i'm going to start off with my wet ingredients and i'm going in with four eggs at room temperature so this is an extra egg um different from what the box mix does request for and make sure they are at room temperature because it helps with our um, mixing and also their texture of the cake at the end so just give it a quick whisk and to that i am replacing the cup of water with half a cup of a buttermilk buttermilk has that tangy taste and i bet you it goes perfectly with the alcohol in the rum because you guys know we're using rum and it got alcohol <laughs> and i'm also using one third of a cup of melted butter unsalted butter by the way and i would also add one third of a cup of vegetable oil so the box only requests for one third of vegetable oil but i'm doing one third vegetable oil and one third butter i'm also going in with a healthy splash of vanilla about one teaspoon will do the trick we all know that vanilla passed perfectly in baked goods. I'm also going in with another secret ingredient about um, half of a teaspoon of coconut extract. Guys, let me tell you. Mm, you guys know rum and coconut go together. Hello, pina colada. <laughs> all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, it is really delicious when you try this combination. So I'm just going in with my hand mixer and just blending in all the wet ingredients. And I know, I know I did not forget the rum is coming, okay? It is coming, baby. So once we get all of the wet ingredients incorporated, we would now go in and add the number one ingredient we got today. And here I have a very nice Caribbean style. And this is the spiced rum. It's the dark rum. Let me tell you guys, your girl is so lightheaded. I do not mess with stuff like this, but let me tell you, it is the best combination ever when I used it to bake. I just love everything about it. So just stay tuned. So I am pouring in half a cup of my dark rum. You could just use um, any type of rum that you have, but I like the spiced rum because, especially for baking actually. So yeah, that's what we're going with, half a cup and then just mix all of that, get it all incorporated into our wet ingredients. And then it will be time to add in our dry mix. So I am going in with about half of it, just blending it and mixing it and just getting it all incorporated. Once all of that is mixed in, I would add in the rest. And at this point, I'm just waiting on low speed. And once I get all of the dry ingredients in there, I will bump up my speed to medium high and beat it for two minutes. So that's just exactly what the box does request for. So make sure you're scraping the sides of your bowl to avoid any dry pockets of the cake mix okay so once we do all of that by this time you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit because this is ready to get into our oven and for this recipe today i am going to be using my 
bunt pan. Yeah, so this is my bunt pan, and I believe this is about a 10 or 12 cup bunt pan. I'm not sure. I would confirm the size. To that, I am going in with a baking spray, and this one has flour in it, so I'm just trying to ensure that my cake comes out perfectly because, you know, all them ridges and nooks and crannies of the bun pan look so beautiful, but you do not want your cake getting stuck in there, honey. So, yeah, just give that a good, nice um, spray. I still go in with my brush just to get it um, get in all the corners and all of that and now we are ready to pour in our batter now if you like nuts this is the perfect time to sprinkle some on the bottom of your pan before adding your cake batter you could add some toasted pecans or walnuts any type of nuts that you like i tend to stay away because of the nut allergies in my house but by all means if you want to do that add it on the bottom of the pan before you pour in your batter so that when you overturn and flip that cake baby it's gonna look so so pretty all right get our cake batter all in there scrape of your bowl do not waste anything and if you have anybody in your house that likes to um just munch on those little um cake left over the batter left over by all means go for it so again we're gonna pop it drop it release excess air bubbles and now we are ready to bake and we're baking today at 350 degrees fahrenheit and mine took about 40 minutes so you want to do it between 35 to 40 minutes everybody's oven is different make sure you check it insert um, a toothpick in the middle or a skewer and when it comes out dry then you are ready to go so while my cake is baking i am going ahead to make my glaze my buttery rum glaze okay so now i am starting off with one stick of butter i am using um salted butter but you could go with unsalted butter and maybe add a pinch of um, salt to it so we're just going to try to melt this butter in a skillet and let me tell you guys this right here this process just trust it if there's anything you're going to take you're going to omit do not leave this glaze out because I promise you, you would not be disappointed. So once we get that melted, we're going to let it come to a boil. And we will go in and add one cup of light brown sugar. You could use brown sugar as well. I had light brown sugar. I prefer to use brown sugar because it enhances the caramel color I'm looking for. But if you don't have any brown sugar, just go ahead and use regular granulated white sugar. So you simply want to go ahead and whisk the sugar and the butter the aim is to get it caramelized and i'm telling you by this time it was already smelling so good yeah the aim is to get it all dissolved to enhance the look we're going for so now we're gonna let it come to a simmer and while we're doing that here i have half a cup of rum and to that i am adding half a cup of heavy whipping cream guys let me tell you do not use water use heavy whipping cream and you're gonna see that difference because come on we're going for a nice delicate caramel glaze and you gotta have that fat in the heavy whipping cream to get what you're looking for so i highly highly suggest you try this and let me know in the comment section below if you do so now that it has come to a simmer and the sugar is beginning to dissolve i am going in to add the cream and rum mixture in there and then at this time you just want to keep stirring and stirring and whisking this and you would see that all of that would just start dissolving and again just leave this on low heat and let it just do its thing i'm gonna let it come to a boil again and simmer down for about five to seven minutes it will thicken on its own because of that sugar in there and you would see um, what the process is like so just keep you could leave it for about a minute or two but just keep stirring it every couple of minutes just to make sure that everything is coming together nicely and to my returning subscribers i want to say a big thank you guys i did not take you for granted i am so grateful and so thankful for this community that i have built here on youtube the lovely comments i get um, the un encouragement that I get from you guys is so overwhelming. I even get emails and inbox messages, tags on Instagram. I am so thankful for you. I mean, words cannot imagine. And to my new subscribers, if you're just joining, you are so welcome. This is a happy place. Our aim here is to make cooking more enjoyable and less of a chore. So now 
I have been um, cooking this glaze for about seven minutes now and it has thickened up and it is just the right consistency that I am looking for so now I am taking it off the heat and pouring it into my container and now at this point you want to let it cool down a little bit because we still have to go in and add some vanilla but I don't like to add vanilla when it's still hot because I want to preserve that vanilla taste the freshness as much as possible so once you pour that let it cool down a little bit maybe even to room temperature because we have to let it cool down to room temperature before we add it to our cake okay so we're gonna put that aside and just in time my cake is out of the oven and it smells so so good and it looks so perfect so this is what it looks like now you also want to let this cake sit and cool down and make sure that you also poke holes in the cake this will help you to pour in that glaze so my cake has been resting and also my glaze has cooled down and i'm also going to add my vanilla at this point just whisk it together and now we are ready to start building up on those flavors so the cake has been resting for about 20 minutes now so i'm going to go in and pour in maybe about one fourth of the liquid so in total when i was done making the glaze i had about maybe a little over one and a half cup so i'm only pouring in about one fourth of that and you want to pour it around the sides and in the middle remember i poked some holes that would let our glaze penetrate into the cake and keep it nice and moist and mm, so good so once we do that i let it sit some more and let that soak in you could go in with a brush and just help it distribute more evenly and then i let it sit down and soak some more and after a couple of hours my cake is now cool i am going to go ahead and invert it now i want to invert it and make sure you have something underneath to um, catch any drippings because we're not trying to lose any of that rum sauce guys let me tell you it was so good and here we go it came out nice and clean and so perfect all right so now we're still building up on the flavors we're gonna go ahead and drizzle the glaze one more time you will notice that as the glaze cools down it will thicken up some more and when you put it in the refrigerator it even thickens up and looks like real caramel it is so beautiful so yeah just go ahead and just drip some more of that good old sauce and this is what it's looking like now for this cake i highly recommend that you make it the day before you serve it because i like to let it sit at this point and soak up on all that goodness okay now this is the next day and this is what my glaze looks like out of the refrigerator guys look at that man let me tell you i kept on eating this and i forgot that it has 35 percent alcohol in that room and i'm telling you it was not nice anyway so this is my cake the next day i put it in the fridge at night when i was going to bed and this is it you can look at it it just looks so nice and so so moist you can tell with all of that sauce we put in there the cake itself is so good but then it's even better with the glaze Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. It is just perfect, very soft, very moist. And now I like to save the rest of the glaze for individual serving. So when you have your guests over or your family and you get your slice, you could just dribble and just soak it up with as much of that rum sauce as your little heart can tolerate, okay? Because you know, this is a grown up a grown-up dessert okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you really enjoyed this like i said in the beginning this was a very highly requested video i had a lot of people requesting for a rum cake and i always like to deliver and give you guys what you want so i hope you enjoy it and if you do please do go ahead and leave me a thumbs up it helps my channel it's free of charge it's a beautiful way to support your girl thank you guys so much for watching again feel free to share my videos with your friends and family have a happy holiday and until i catch you in the next one y'all stay safe i love you so much thank you for watching bye